Hello there, wonderful people. Welcome to part four of our Blitz series. In this series, we are learning together how to use Blitz. I am by no means a uh, super sophisticated software developer, but I know a couple of terms. Luckily, I am backed up by my good friend and colleague Dean, and he is a very proficient engineer. So in the spirit of learning together and trying to figure stuff out, it's always good to explore on your own. We do have Dean as our backup. When things get a little bit rough, I always just consult with him and then he'll bring us back to where we need to be. So in part three, I said that I wanted uh, to talk a little bit more about pages and dynamic routing in Blitz for part four. But I think that might be jumping the gun a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do in this, in this um, video is to show you what happens when we use some of the tooling in Blitz. Uh, and I, I refer to the generate uh, tool that you can run with Blitz. <clears throat> so let's quickly take a look at what uh, exactly this is. Blitz allows you to generate some code scaffolding from the command line, which is very nifty if you just want to start a little side project or you want to get something up and running um, very quickly. I know some people might say, yeah, it's difficult to change things when you, when you run code scaffolding tools from the CLI. And that might be true, but we're going we're gonna to see how this pans out. So let's take a quick look at the blitz generate command use this command to scaffold all the boring code in your project just tell me where to sign up okay so we can generate pages queries mutations and prisma models with this command so it does quite a lot for you they say that they might support custom templates in the future, but we don't care about that at the moment. Okay, so this is a typical way you're gonna use a blitz generate command. You're gonna type in blitz generate, and then you're going to specify a type, right? So the type refers to what you're going to uh, generate. If you select all, you're going to generate the database model the queries that you need to fetch the data, mutations, as in how do we change this data, and then pages as well. So where you can actually access the data on the front end. So this pretty much covers the CRUD part of your app. Create, read, update, and delete. Cool. So I think we should just go ahead and run there example command so blitz generate all so we want models queries mutations and the pages we want a project and with that project we want uh for this model to take a name that will be a string let's add our own model with that as well so let's just let's just open up a new terminal let's type let's generate all and we will do project and it will have a name that is a string and let's give it a description which is also a string let's see what happens okay well this is this is pretty neat right so it created a page I assume this is the detailed page of your project, a specific project. Then I see there is a edit page where you probably can edit any entry you make into the project. And there is a list view of, I assume, or well, I assume it's a list view of all your projects that you have in the database. And then there's a create a new project. So create, read, update, and delete probably falls in the edit section. Okay, there's a component which is a project form. So I assume this is where we will enter uh, projects if we want to create more projects. 
And then the queries. Get a single project for, I assume, the detailed page here. And then we have get projects, which is getting a list of all the projects in the DB, which I assume is going to sit on this page. Let's take a look, mutations. Okay, great. So uh, this is not a page. This is just the mutations uh, uh, that you can run on the database. So we can create the project, we can delete it, and we can update it. And I assume when you edit something here or you go to the new page, it's going to make use of these mutations. And it's created a model for us. There will be an ID for each project, which is an integer. And it will auto increment by default. We've got the stock standard created at and updated at if we change. And we've got the name string and the description string as we have chosen. So now it asks us if we want to run Prisma Migrate Dev to update our database. And I'm going to say yes. Enter a name for the new migration. Well, I'm going to say uh, project table. Fantastic. Okay. Amazing. And I think what we need to do is we need to actually just restart our project, which I'm going to do. Okay. And then we should be able to, because we named it project and we created all with our, um, we can see here what was created pages, projects is everything that we need as mentioned in the video where we discussed the directory. So projects would be its own domain. So everything that's got to do with projects will fall in this section here. Right, so let's go see if we go to projects. Okay, well, I assume we need to be logged in if we want to do that. I'm gonna log in. Well, ooh, okay, let's quickly sign up. Cool. So we've signed up, we've, we are the first user and our user role is user. Okay, cool. So let's go to projects. Aha. Okay. So now we have the ability to create a project under the projects page. We're going to take a look at the code now. Just, just first see what's happening on the screen. Unicorn app is our first project. We're going to create it. Oh, hmm. What happened here? Okay, we are greeted with an error, and I think I know why. As I said, we're learning together. Not everything's always going to work out perfectly fine. And that's just how coding is, right? That's just how stuff, how stuff happens. So, the first thing we're going to try to do to solve this issue. Well, what I've noticed obviously is that we only have one input field which uh, makes it extremely difficult for us to add the description as well so i think we should just go and add that field i'm not sure if this is a bug or if this is how it's supposed to work but let's see what we can do about it remember we're learning the more we learn about the inner workings of the framework the better Okay, so here's the project form that it's created for us under projects and under the components. So we can see here the name input. It's a labeled text field, which by the way comes from our core components because it's something that we can use site wide. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Description. Cool. Right. So let's see if that helps us. Okay. We've got description. Let's try this again. We're greeted with an error again. Let's dive a little bit deeper here. Here's a nice little hint. In multi-tenant app, you must add validation to ensure correct tenant. So under mutations, there is the create project um, mutation. And we have ZOD, which is our validation library. 
And I see we're only validating for the name here. Let's try and do the same for description. Interestingly, if we comment out this line, data is giving us a red squiggle, which means something is not right. Okay, so it says your description is declared somewhere else. It's not assignable. Description is missing. So it's basically telling us what the issue was. So let's let's put that in and our error disappears. Great. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll need to restart the app. Maybe not. But let's see. Uh, and it worked. Huh. Kind of surprised myself there a little bit. Let's see if we can mutate. Uh, maybe we have the same issue as we had in the create project file. So I'm gonna, just going to change this to three. No, it seems to work. Let's see if we can delete it. Yeah, we absolutely can. Let's see if the project will actually display in our in our list. Okay, let's go to projects and there we have a project just testing again make sure we're thorough cool there we go excellent this seems to be working just fine so that's basically the blitz generate command a quick overview of what it can do um, i hope you learned something in this video um, for those of you who are following along please let me know what you would like to learn next if there's anything specific if you guys want us to maybe build a small project let me know we'll use blitz to do it we can even do something fun like pull in um, Tailwind and make something look really nice. Um, please engage with me in the comments and please subscribe to our channel. We're new on YouTube and we are trying to um, get more involved with, and create more content. So like, subscribe, all those things. And I'll see you in the next video.